When the Lord was giving out prey drive, he spooned an extra dollop into the cup marked Lupton. Last time we were on this ground, he chose to leave this buck as he felt it had potential. But Roy knows there are others that really need taking out. So, a week later, we're back with backup. There'll be a set of kissing gates up to your... your um, Roy has head. his friends Dom and David with him. Dom, a professional deer manager, is heading one side of the estate and Roy will guide David on this side. A week later and things are hopefully going to be in full swing. I say hopefully. Now I've actually got the weather that I wanted. We've got a slight, slight touch of frost this morning. I was hoping that we were going to have heard some grunting um, before it got light. Um, nothing. Nothing. Nothing yet. So far there's no audible indication of rutting, but we do see animals coming in from unexpected directions. The chances are it's a dog walker not following the footpath, although it's unlikely to be this rough looking canine. Once again, we try and make our way into the rutting area. Now we can hear them. A doe stands between us and it, so we have to keep still and quiet for 10 minutes before she mooches off. On arrival at the traditional rutting stand, there is no one here. The party must have shifted from the bedroom to the kitchen. Roy tries to lure someone across, but no joy. So he barges straight in. It's tough to see the master buck, but he is there. A poor yearling is interested and tries to find a gap in the old fence. He disappears, only to reappear in front of us. Not the electric responses 
were quite the same responses that we had last week. Still, I mean, still lovely, um, but the rut's still full on. So the, the boys are obviously dedicated to their girls, and it's harder just to draw them a little bit at the moment. So you've got to go right in on them um, just to play with them and uh, and just uh, insult them a little bit by uh, making them think that there's a, a couple of big boys playing on the cursories with their girls. So uh, it certainly worked in his case. A very, very poor pricket head-wise. Body condition, he's still okay. You know, for me, that's what it's about because when you're stalking in on a rutting stand or shooting on a rutting stand, it's not overly difficult to shoot animals, but it's a lot more difficult when you want to be selective. And for me, that's what I really enjoy is trying to manage the herds as best we can um, and try and produce the deer that, that we're after. Whether or not you know, our ideals are go in line with anybody else is a, a different thing, but you know, for, for general herd structure um, and for general management of the poorer beasts, then obviously that's what we're trying to do. Although the meat from bucks can be heavily tainted at this time of year with hormones pumping through their systems, this one's not smelly at all and the meat will be heading into the estate's kitchens. So the stars align, the gods are appeased and Roy gets his rut buck, bringing order where there is chaos.